We're here today to introduce the new GATH Jedi in-water swift water helmet. This is the new helmet to be worn by swift water operators and technicians. The GATH Jedi helmet meets international standards of EN 1385. Comes with a visor, which should never be removed, as this aids in deflecting water away from your face, allowing for air pockets. It also comes with your Black Diamond Storm waterproof headlamp. The waterproof headlamp, when initially set up, may need to be opened with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, as the grub screw can be quite hard to open. On initially getting your helmet, you are going to have to place your batteries within your helmet. These are in the pack when they get delivered to you. This headlamp is fitted with a ratchet so it can be moved in, in different directions. Stickers that will be placed on your helmet are either swift water operator or swift water technician. That sticker will be placed just under swift water. You will then also be given a name sticker which will be placed underneath the high reflective strip. Some of the ancillary pieces that will come with your GATH Jedi helmet are your air vents. They don't necessarily have to be worn at all times. They have audio vents within these, so it can be open and closed quite easily. It also comes with infill pieces for the water vents. You would place these within your helmet when working within a cold environment to keep the warmth within your head. It also comes with comfort strips. These comfort strips are to aid you in the fitting of your helmet. Before fitting or utilising the helmet, you must go through the Ducot supplied by the Queensland Fire Service. Also, it is needed that you read through the instruction manual for the, for the helmet as well, being this one here and also this here. All the information on the helmet that you will need is in those instruction manuals. So they must be read prior to utilising the helmet and prior to trying to fit the helmet to your head. We'll now go into the fitting of the helmet. For the fitting of the helmet, the first thing you must do is get your head measurement. You can find out how to get the head measurement through reading through your instructions. Grab the helmet and place it on your head. It should be a firm but not tight fit. There should be limited movement forward and to the side. This helmet presently would fit me correctly as it has very limited movement forward and sideways. If this is not the case, then you will have to adjust your comfort strip. The comfort strip which you will have to remove is in this channel here and this is the comfort strip you will have to remove to adjust the fitment of your helmet. It is stuck there. All you need to do is to remove it from the helmet. My advice is not to throw away your comfort strip as you may need this comfort strip to be used later on so as you can pack out your helmet if you have movement on the side or backward and forth. You will receive extra comfort strips. These extra comfort strips will then be fitted into the channel inside the helmet. You grab your comfort strip that you wish to apply to the helmet. Starting from the back of the helmet, you'll place it into the channel and work your way around the channel So as the comfort strip now 
is fully within the channel and is fitted. Once I've placed this helmet on my head and if I find that I have sideways movement or movement backward and forth and need to pack it out, that's when I can use the comfort, either the comfort strip I have taken out of the helmet or the other comfort strip within the helmet to place the comfort strip in pieces which you would cut with a pair of scissors, place it into the helmet. It is advisable that you place this on top of the existing comfort strip. So when placing it on your head, one other main part of your fitting of your helmet should be that the positioning of your chin strap. Your chin strap should sit directly under your ear. The chin strap is adjustable by either pulling one way or the other on the buckle. Fitting of the ear protectors. The ear protectors you'll find will have a little knob on the top of the ear protectors. This has a location point within the helmet. Pulling back on the ear protector, locate the area where the, it fits into and place into the helmet. You then have to have your webbing go over the top of your ear protectors and lock in between the plastic and the foam lining like so. That is the correct fitting for your ear protectors. You also then have your audio vent on the outside which can be open or closed turning in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. If it's in the closed position there is a push button on the inside of the helmet where you push and this aids in the rotation of the audio vent for your ear protectors. Fitting of the infills for your drains for cold water operation. You'll see a dot on, the, on your infill and you'll also see a dot on the internal side of your helmet. This is to aid you in the location of what infill goes into what hole. So that just gets placed directly into your helmet and forced in to the hole and press it in. Ensure that after use of the helmet that you wash it thoroughly in fresh water. Also with your helmet, ensure all screwing points are maintained and that you do not over tighten this as you may damage the internals of the helmet. This also counts for the removal or changing over of your Black Diamond Storm headlamp. Never place your helmet on the dash of the truck in the hot sun as this can distort our helmet as well. Also never pack your helmet with a lot of gear which can also distort it and when packing away in your bag make sure that it's not on the bottom where it can have a lot of pressure applied to it as this can distort your helmet as well. Never use solvents to clean your helmet. It is preferable that you use a soft cloth with dishwashing liquid just to clean your helmet. The Gath Jedi helmet is specifically made for swift water operations only. It is not to be used in any other discipline within technical rescue or within the fire service. I must say that it is only for swift water operations. The Gath Jedi helmet has a three years manufacturer's warranty on the helmet and a seven year lifespan on the helmet. If you have any queries or problems with your helmet, you should contact your regional coordinator for Tech Rescue.